Hello and welcome to my Monday night live stream. Today we are going to do something interesting. As you could see from the title, we are going to look at an AI called Synthlight. And this is a website where you create an influencer and you can use it for YouTube, Instagram and a lot of different things. I was preparing, I was doing research for my upcoming video on Thursday, where I talk about what could happen if we have these AI created influencer in a fictional case where one of these AI influencers start to sway a lot of their followers. So on Thursday, we're going to talk about the ethical and moral implications of AI-generated influences. But while I was doing my research, I came upon this website called Synthlight. So I thought that today would be a good day to take a look at what this is and actually create a influencer. So Let's start by taking a look at this website. Here we have Synthlife.io. I am not today do any judgment whether this is a good or a bad thing to do. We are just going to look at it, how it works, what it's intended for. So in large letters here, building a virtual influencer made simple. No technical skills required. And then they talk about building a TikTok following or run a YouTube channel. And here are some of the virtual influencers built on this site. You can create TikTok reels. You build a unique face. And I will shortly show you exactly how we do that. This website has social media integration so you can directly from here upload to your social media platforms and it's how to generate your content you shows your posts your clothing and your background and you can auto schedule your content but nothing of this is free so how does all of this work well here i am in my account you start by creating a synth face here is mine what you do is you name two celebrities that you want to be the base for your face they combine them so i chose britney spear with spears which is very visible and then i chose a swedish singer she was part of abba back in the day agneta fels and the hair color should be blonde so that is the very basic i just create a face. The purpose of this is to be able to use this face in many different positions. So when I'm done with this, I go to start creating content. So the first thing they want me to decide is what clothing should I have. So let's create dark winter jacket with a hood, fur around the hood skiing glasses. That's what I want her to be dressed in. And then I choose my background up on the on a snowy mountain ready to ski. And then I can choose a body selfie. Here we just see the body. Or you can close choose a upper body there where you see the face most of the face and most of the body or just upper body so we are gonna choose the upper body one then you can choose how many images you want to create with this specific clothing and background even though i chose eight it counts like one creation because it's 
eight different versions of this one photo. So I choose eight and then I can choose a one by one image, a square, or I can choose nine by 16 for TikTok and Insta. So we are going to choose the nine by 16 for TikTok and Insta and click generate. While this is generating, let's take a look here on the left hand side. Dashboard is where we created our face. Insta feed is here you can see what other people have put up on Instagram. Or you can see your creatives. I haven't done any for Instagram. Great images was where we were a second ago here, and it is still generating those. <clears throat> How to generate image photo studio. That was this one. Image clone is where you upload an image that you want clone. Create videos. I can't do that because I had a cheaper plan. Schedule posts. Gallery is where we see all the images we already have produced. Subscription is where we can manage our plan or upgrade if we want that. I, as I said, just did a light plan. And then we have settings. And that's where we have the face that we created. Let's take a look at what we created. Let's first remind us. A dark winter jacket with a hood, fur around the hood, skiing glasses. And she should be up on a snowy mountain ready to ski. And we should have this upper body. So now we can see. Oops. She is half naked. I don't know why up in the mountain. But here we have the half images. This is really weird how she has a shirt of herself on. But some of these are pretty decent. Let's say that I want to save this. I add it to gallery or I can preview in an image by itself. I can schedule this as a tweet and I have to log into my Twitter account to do that. I can download the image. Let's add that to our gallery too. And let's add one more. Only the images that I add to my gallery will be saved. The rest disappears. So these eight images just counted as one creation. And only the ones I sent to my gallery will be saved. So let's go to my gallery now. And I have a total of 38 photos I have saved. And here we have one of the newer ones. Here are some old ones with the same model. So now let's go back and see how the generation itself works. Let's create a new generation and this time let's do a male one and see how that works. Let's do Brad Pitt and Johnny Depp and hair color dark and update. And now I will get a new face here. They are building the face. And as it says right here, try out different variations to see what works best for you. And it still created a female. Hmm. I guess we can't create male. Here we have the face it created from Brad Pitt, Johnny Depp, dark hair. So start creating content. We should have it smile and we can choose the random this time. Let's create eight different images again and let's do them one by one here and generate. And while we're waiting for that, I am back here. So that was one strange thing I must say about sin life. Only creating female images. I believe that you can using other generative AI to create your influencer if you really want it and they are there are so many tutorials about 
all the different platforms like Midjourney or Dali or all the different image creation platforms. There are so many tutorials on YouTube on how to create a consistent image so it looks the same. And I believe those are probably better alternatives if you really want to have an AI generated influence. But I thought this was interesting since it is so focused on creating influencers. So now we have our images and let's see, I guess it's all female here. And can we see that it is the same girl in all images? I guess it is. It looks very much like the same girl. She has shorter hair, longer hair in some images. But it's definitely the same person in all of them. So that is synthlife.co.co. An AI generated influencer, a website only created to create artificial influence. I don't think it's worth the money, but it also shows us what this technology can take us to. And if you are interested in the ethics and the moral around the topic of AI generated influencers, I suggest that you come back to my channel on Thursday when I have a video with a fictive case about an influencer, AI created influencers that start influencing in manners that has to do with politics or with environmental questions or something that goes beyond the scope of being an influencer and what consequences that can have. So I hope to see you there and I hope that we can have an interesting conversation about AI-generated influencers. Bye.